O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the I am the Lord your God, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people did not listen to my voice. Israel did not submit to me. So I gave them over to their stubborn hearts to follow their own counsel. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. I would soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes. Those who hate the Lord would cringe towards me, and their fate would last forever. But he would feed you with the finest of the wheat, and with honey from the rock I would satisfy you. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Acts chapter 1, verses 1 to 11, The Ascension of Our Lord. In the first book, O Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up, after he had given the commandments through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them after his suffering by many proofs, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. And while staying with them, he ordered them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father which he said, You heard from me, for John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and to all the ends of the earth. And when he had said these things, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. And while they were gazing into heaven as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white robes and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. This is the word of the Lord. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 15 to 23. For this reason, because I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints, I do not cease to give thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and of revelation and knowledge of him, having the eyes of your hearts enlightened, that you may know what is the hope 
to which he has called you? What are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints? And what is the immeasurable greatness of his power towards us who believe, according to the work of his great might, that he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named, not only in this age but also in the one to come. And he put all things under his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him, who fills all in all. This is the word of the Lord. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verses 44 to 53. Then Jesus said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything was written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms. They must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written, that the Christ should suffer, and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all the nations, beginning in Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you, But stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. And he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he blessed them, he parted from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him, and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and were continually in the temple, blessing God. This is the word of the Lord. In the church, we celebrate Ascension Day today, and unfortunately, over many years, Ascension has been sort of forgotten about, but it goes hand in hand with Christmas, with Good Friday, with Easter, as the explanation point, as a definitive certainty that we who are glorified in Christ will be found acceptable in this very flesh in his presence. That's what the ascension means. That now this body of flesh that Christ dwelt in, which bore the wrath for sin, which died a gruesome death, which was glorified and raised again to new life, this very same flesh will also be in the presence of God. This is vindication. This is our certainty of the hope that we have. That we will be In the Lord's presence. And that's a great comfort, especially now in our troubled times, to know that the hope we have is for certain. The ascension is often overlooked, but it's the capstone or the period or the exclamation mark or the definitive end to say, This is most certainly true. Alleluia. Praise be to God that he has fulfilled all things through his Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Your words is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Unite my heart to fear your name that I may walk in your truth. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your word is a lamp to my feet Let my prayer rise before you as incense. The lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. My soul magnifies the Lord and 
my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has has regarded the loneliness of his head. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all.
God's own child, I gladly say it. I am baptized into Christ. He, because I could not be it, gave my full redemption price. To my needless treasures many, I have Oh,